Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today in this video we are going to discuss Kokomo. So guys, the Kokomo it stands for Constructive Cost Model and it is a model used to estimate the cost of software projects. So guys, basically the Kokomo is of three types. One is basic, then you have intermediate, then you have advanced. So in this video, we will discuss the basic Kokomo. So guys, for the full video, all of you stay tuned. Karen Jetley Live so guys, the Kokomo model, whether it is basic, intermediate or advanced, it categorizes your projects into three categories. One is organic project, then you have semi-detached project and then you have embedded project. So guys, what is an organic project? So it is a routine project. It is a project which we do in routine, which we develop in routine and our team is well aware of the requirements and they do similar projects every day okay so it is a routine project which has which is small in size and the team is also small in size and team is well trained in handling that type of projects and the team is well trained in handling that type of projects and the environment for which you are developing that project is well known and well understood so it is like a routine project which we do every day our team members are trained for it and it is small in size and the team size is also small so these projects for example payroll system so it is a routine project so everywhere many people they are developing payroll system so nothing new in that team knows what they are doing and the average size of organic project is 2 to 50 kloc is 2 to 50 kilo lines of code okay so what is this this is the organic project so then guys comes a semi detached project so what is semi detached project okay it needs a medium sized team and it is a medium sized project so it is bigger than the organic the team size also is bigger than the organic project but in semi detached project so what happens some of the things are known and some of the things are unknown means some of the constraints are well understood by the team and some constraints are totally new which are not understood by the which team does not understand they are dealing with them for the first time so half of the project is known and well understood other half is not known so here the team also is trained in handling what they know but the team is not trained in handling what they do not know or is not trained in handling the unknown constraints so it is a non-routine project in which you are trying something different in which you are trying something different not totally different but some part of that project needs some type of innovation it needs some type of innovation okay and it is bigger than the organic project as I told you the team size also is bigger for a semi detached project as compared to the organic project and the software size for an organic project is about 50 to 300 kilo lines of code. So what is this? This is a semi-detached project. The example of these are the utility softwares like device drivers. So new device came, you are writing a device driver. So something you know about device driver and the device is known, some things you do not know. Compilers, okay all uh, device drivers utility software compilers all come under the category of semi detached projects okay then guys last one most complex the embedded projects embedded projects is a new idea totally new innovation no one knows about it okay so team does not have much experience in that or they do not have any experience in that and it is large in size it is large in size means it is more than 300 kilo lines of code and the team size for embedded projects is also very large and the environment under this project will operate or under which we will develop is totally unknown so we do not know any constraints totally it is a new 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 innovation so nothing known about it in advance okay so it is a very very complex project which needs a large team and the size of the software is also very very large so when we bring a totally new product in the market 
or when we develop a totally innovative very complex system so it falls into this category because when something is totally new so we know very little about it or we know very little about it the constraints are not known the risks are not known the environment is not known okay so the examples of embedded projects is like air traffic control system very very complex very very complex and life of the people is dependent upon it okay which adds to the risk which adds to the risk of this project as i told you it is a it, it is a high risk project so size of the project is big and the size of the team is also big environment totally not known and it requires a lot of training and it really requires lot of innovation it requires lot of innovation so guys no matter what type of project you are doing whether it is organic whether it is semi detached whether it is embedded and guys for each of these categories it has multipliers it has four multipliers that is a b c and d okay and the values of those multipliers and the values of those multipliers are different for the organic different for the semi detached and it is different for the embedded project and it is different for the embedded project okay so guys now we will talk about these multipliers so guys here are the multipliers as i told you four multipliers and for each type of project the multipliers values it varies for organic project so a is 2.4 b is 1.05 c is 2.5 and d is 0.38 similarly for semi detached a is 3 b is 1.2 1.12 c is 2.5 and d is 0.35 and similarly for embedded a is 3.6 b is 1.20 c is 2.5 and d is 0.32 now guys when we talk about basic kokomo okay as i told you kokomo is also also of three types basic intermediate and advanced so in basic kokomo so our cost estimation for the software our cost estimation for the software is based upon one factor only that is the software size that is the software size wherever whereas in intermediate apart from the size we also include other factors about software like complexity reliability and so on and for advanced we have more more factors which gives us more accurate cost but in basic kokomo model we try to do the estimation based upon only one thing so that is the size of your software so based upon size we can predict how big team we need we can predict how much effort we need okay and so on so guys as i told you in basic kokomo model all our estimations all our estimations they are based upon the size of the software they are based upon the size of the software and i told you so there are different multipliers okay for the different types of projects there are different multipliers for the different types of projects so to estimate the cost and to estimate the effort for a basic kokomo model okay so this is the table which we use okay so here we have the categories of the projects whether it is organic semi detached embedded and we have different factors and we have different factors for it and these factors they have different values and these factors they have different values now the most important thing in basic kokomo model is size which is measured in kloc for example what is kloc kilo lines of code now suppose suppose they say we have a organic project we have a organic project whose size is 12 kloc whose size is 12 kloc so then calculate the effort time how many people you need and what will be the productivity so what is effort effort is a 
A into KLOC power B. So, the project is organic. So, what is the value of A for organic project? 2.4. So, what is KLOC? 12. What is power B? B is 1.05. So, guys, after we calculate it, so it comes equal to 32.6. So, in Kokomo model, we do not take the points, okay? We always round it off. So, which is equal to 33. So, what is the effort? Effort is 33. And how do I calculate it? I know it is organic project. They gave me the size and I referred to the multipliers for the organic project type. Now, coming to the time. What is time? C into effort power D. So, what is value of C? Value of C is 2.5. How much is my effort? So, as I told you, we will take the round of value. Effort is 33 power D. For organic project, what is the value of D? That is 0.38. That is 0.38. So, what it will be? After we calculate it, it comes up to 9.4 or the round it off, it comes to 9 months. It comes to 9 months. So, how much time I need? I need 9 months to finish this organic project. To finish this organic project. So, guys, these calculations, I have done it before. I have done it before. So, I am not doing it for the sake of time. So, how much staff we need? So, what is the staff? Staff is effort. Staff is effort divided by time. So, how much is my effort? 33. How much time I need? I need 9. So, 33 divided by 9. So, 33 divided by 9 is 3.6 which is equal to 4. As I told you, how many people we need? We need approximately 4 people to carry out this project. And how much productivity we can generate? Means in one month, how many kilo lines of code we can generate? So, what is this? That is total lines of code in KLOC that is 12 divided by effort. Effort is 33. So, 12 divided by 33 should give you approximately 0.36 KLOC per month. So, this is the productivity means we can generate 36.36 kilo lines of code per month. And guys, here are my estimation. So, size KLOC, type of project, organic, effort I need 33, time I need 9 months and how many people I need that is 33 divided by 9 that is 3.6. So, I need Takriban approximately 4 people and how much productivity per month, how much code I can generate? I can generate 0.36 KLOC per month. So, this was our organic. This was our organic. So, guys, if they say same project, same project is a semi-detached, same project is semi-detached. So, then what will be my value of A? So, here A will become 3 and what will B become? B will become 1.12. B will become 1.12 and then we can calculate whatever the output is. Okay. Similarly, if they say the project is embedded the project is embedded. So, then what happens is, what becomes A? A becomes 3.6 and what B becomes? B becomes 1.2. Okay. 
and so on. You, we can do the other calculations. So guys, for your reference, I have calculated the effort, time, staff, productivity for all the three project categories. I will just put it in a table. Now guys, let us have a quick look on this table. As in my example, as I said, the software size is 12 KLO C. Okay. And we will calculate the effort, time, staff and productivity. For organic project, okay, how did I calculate it? I already showed you. And quickly, for semi-detached and embedded. For semi-detached guys, you, know, so you see formulas are same. Formulas are same, but these values are different. Okay, so this is A, this is B. So for semi-detached, this is 3 and for embedded, it is 3.6. And total size of the project is the same, that is 12 KLO C. For semi-detached, so what, how much effort we need? 49, okay. For embedded, how much effort we need? As I told you, when we talk about a project which is embedded, it has more complexity. See, the effort also goes up. And organic project is the basic, basic project and the effort also is less. And similarly, for semi-detached, for organic project, again, a, we need 9 people, okay, but in semi-detached, we need 10 people, okay. So, now you see here also, this factor has changed. Here it was 0.38 and here it is 0.35. And from where I am getting these values, these values I am getting from the multiplier table, which I showed in the previous part of this video. And similarly, for embedded, this becomes 3.2, okay. So, for organic project, I need 9 months. For semi-detached, I need 10 months. And for embedded also, I need 10 months. Okay, now you see, semi-detached and embedded, the number of months are same. But what will change? Here, for semi-detached, I need 5 people. And for embedded, I need 7 people. So there, 5 people are finishing something in 10 months. Here, the 7 people will finish the same size project in 10 months. Then comes the productivity. Productivity is total number of lines divided by the effort. So here is 12 KLOC lines. What was the effort required for semi-detached? 49. So every month we will produce about 0.24 KLOC per month. And for embedded, since it is complicated, so our productivity will be also less. So guys, here the productivity is also less as compared to semi-detached and organic project. So guys, like maybe just now you must have felt a glitch in the video. Actually, when I was shooting it, my battery got low. So the last part I had to shoot it again. So I'm sorry for that. So what I was telling you, like in the embedded project, the productivity is less as compared to semi-detached and organic projects because it is more complicated. So guys, that's all for today. That's all for today. So I hope you understand the basic Kokomo model. And guys, if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading more videos related to the different topics of information technology. And guys, all of you, thanks for watching and stay tuned.